Field dependencies are a fundamental building block in Salesforce configuration. They act as silent orchestrators that help organizations build clean, efficient, and intelligent applications. Understanding their structure and configuring them appropriately enables admins and developers to deliver intuitive experiences that scale well and support business logic seamlessly. Field dependencies define how the value of one field, which is called the controlling field, determines the available options in another field, which is the dependent field. This creates a relationship between fields that filters values based on their earlier selections. For example, if a user selects finance as a functional area, the system can automatically filter the job level pick list to only show finance related jobs, hiding unrelated options like HR related jobs. This ensures the form dynamically adjusts based on the user's context, minimizing confusion and manual errors. Let us walk through how to configure field dependencies using a real world example on the position object in our recruitment app. To demonstrate this, I already created two fields on my position object. The first one, functional area, which represents different departments in the company, such as finance, human resources, information technology, retail operations, warehousing. The second pick list field that I created is job level, which represents job grades specific to each functional area. For finance, there are four different grades, FN, 100 to 400. For IT, I have four. Similarly, for every department, I have four different grades. Now, with these two pick list fields, uh, which are configured on the object, I am going to position record technical architect. And when I edit this record, when I select functional area, finance, if you observe, the job level shows all different levels that are configured on that field. Now, my requirement here is when I select finance, I want to only show finance related grades. And if I select HR, I want to display HR related grades. In order to achieve this functionality, I'm going to create a field dependency between functional area and job level. Uh, I want to make my job level dependent on my functional area value. So let me go back to my position object. And when you go to the fields and relations section, we'll see a button here called field dependencies. And click on that button to configure a field dependency. So for configuring a field dependency, I'm going to click on new button. It will ask you to create or select a controlling field and a dependent field. In this case, I want my functional area as a controlling field and job level has my dependent field. I want my job levels to be dependent on the functional area selected. Once I select this, I'll click on continue. The next screen is the mapping screen where you are going to map each functional area with the respective job levels. The functional area which is selected as dependent field will be shown on the top row with each value displayed in the first page. Only five values are shown here on the first screen. If you want to go for the next values, you can click on the next button. It will display the next set of five values. So for functional area, I have six values. That's why I see one to five in this page and sixth value in the next page. And the dependent field values will be available as other rows. Now, in order to include the respective values, for finance, I'll select FN 100 to 400. And once I am satisfied, I'll say include values. For HR, I'll select the HR specific values. For IT, I select the IT specific values. For retail, retail operations, I select RBO values. For warehouse, I'll select the warehouse values. And I want to select miscellaneous for the next set. So I'll click on next button. And for miscellaneous, I'll select the miscellaneous values. And I'll say include values. So once I'm satisfied with all this, I can click on save button. Now this establishes a relationship between the functional area and job level where the job level values will be dependent on the functional area values. When you go to the to record and click on edit, when you select fin functional area of finance, you only see finance related values. So when you select the other value, the respective values will be displayed. This setup ensures that users only see relevant job levels based on the selected department, reducing data entry errors and improving usability. Such dependencies are commonly used in forms where values are related now let us discuss in detail about controlling fields and dependent fields. Controlling fields determine the available options in dependent fields. Standard picklist and checkbox can 
be the controlling fields. For example, in a job application form, a department picklist can control which job level options are shown in dependent picklist. A controlling picklist can control up to 300 values across all its dependent picklists. A single controlling field can be linked to multiple dependent fields. Dependent fields are those whose available values are filtered based on the selection in a controlling field. The supporting field types are picklist, single select, or multi-select picklist. A functional area is the controlling field and a user selects finance, the job code dependent picklist will only show finance related job codes like FN100 to FN400. You can have up to 300 dependent values tied to a single controlling field. Field dependencies only affect the user interface. They do not enforce data validation in backend logic like Apex or API. For backend validation, use validation rules in combination with field dependencies. Record types and page layouts can also influence which picklist values are shown but are configured separately. Always plan your controlling and dependent fields with usability and scalability in mind. Use meaningful value sets and avoid creating overly complex chains of dependencies. Properly configuring field dependencies is critical in any enterprise application setup. It enforces data consistency by guiding users to valid combinations. It simplifies data entry, especially in complex business processes. It supports automation where downstream logic can depend on the field values being predictable. Without field dependencies, users may enter incompatible or misleading data like assigning an HR level to a finance job leading to poor reporting and data quality issues. Well-implemented field dependencies significantly improve usability. They reduce visual clutter by hiding irrelevant choices. They streamline navigation through forms by guiding user input. They allow the system to react in real time, increasing user confidence and reducing training time. Think of it as designing a form that thinks along with the user, only showing what is necessary and hiding everything else. Let us now discuss some of the practical challenges that come with using field dependencies in Salesforce. While they help control data entry and enhance the user experience, they can also introduce complexity if not used carefully. Field dependencies, especially when used extensively across multiple objects or picklists, can result in a complex web of interrelated fields. This makes system configuration and maintenance harder over time. For example, in a recruiter app, if the job level picklist depends on department, and multiple record tabs have their own values, maintaining this setup across departments like finance, engineering, and marketing becomes tedious and error prone. Too many field dependencies, especially on large or highly customized objects, can slow down page rendering and field loading. This leads to sluggish performance, especially in record heavy environments. For example, if a case object has five or more dependent pick lists triggered by a record type and product, Users may notice a delay when loading the case creation page. Making updates to field dependencies such as adding new controlling values or updating dependent options can cause unexpected ripple effects across the system. For example, updating the functional area controlling field in a global HR system might inadvertently hide relevant job levels in certain regions leading to incorrect data entry and confusion for local HR users. If field dependencies are not correctly configured or maintained, users may end up selecting invalid or mismatched combinations. This can compromise data quality and reporting accuracy. For example, if region controls state but the dependency is missing for a new region value, users might leave the state field blank or select an irrelevant one, breaking downstream territory assignment logic. As the org evolves, managing a growing number of field dependencies becomes a scaling concern. It increases admin overhead and complicates onboarding or auditing processes. For example, in a multinational sales org, scaling dependent fields across dozens of countries and product lines can become a bottleneck for new future deployments or expansions. Use field dependencies strategically, prioritize user experience, maintain clean configurations, and regularly review dependencies to avoid long-term tech debt. As your Salesforce org grows, it is essential to consider how field dependencies can affect system performance. While they enhance the user experience by controlling input, they can also introduce bottlenecks if not des designed efficiently. The more field dependencies you introduce, especially across multiple objects and record types, the greater the processing and rendering complexity becomes. For example, a case object with five different controlling fields, each managing separate dependent fields, 
can lead to noticeable delays in page load or record edit times. Keep your dependency logic simple and consolidate where possible to reduce rendering overhead on record pages. When field dependencies are used in high volume objects like opportunity case or custom transactional objects, they can slow down performance, particularly when dependent logic influences UI rendering or flow decisioning. For example, a flow that uses dependent picklist logic in a loop over thousands of opportunity records may slow down or hit governor limits. Avoid using dependent field logic in la inside large data loops or mass update operations. Pre-filter data wherever possible. When working with field dependencies that rely on data queries, whether in Apex, flows or reports, query performance becomes critical, especially as data volume increases. To ensure your dependency logic runs efficiently, you should always focus on writing optimized SQL queries. Poorly written queries can result in longer response times, hitting governor limits, unexpected or inaccurate behaviors in flows or components. Picklist fields do not expose metadata, such as whether a value is active or inactive in the context of SQL query. In SOQL, you cannot filter out inactive picklist, picklist values because they are simply stored as text in records. If a picklist value was used in the past and later deactivated, it will still appear in query results if stored on existing records. If your query records use indexed fields in your where class to improve selectivity, avoid using overly broad filters or unnecessary subqueries in logic tied to dependent fields. For picklists, use a custom metadata type or custom label set to define the allowed active status values and reference that logic in Apex or Flows. Or consider data cleanup automation to remove or update records with deprecated values. Implementing caching where appropriate can significantly reduce repeated calculations and improve responsiveness when dependent logic is used frequently across multiple components. Wherever logic is read-only and doesn't rely on the current transaction state, enabling client-side caching will help to improve performance. For more complex logic, especially if it includes multiple data lookups or dependency calculations, offloading it to asynchronous Apex such as queuable Apex or scheduled jobs can enhance the user experience by keeping the UI responsive. Always test your field dependency logic under realistic data volumes and record types. What works well in development can behave very differently in a production org with millions of records and dozens of flows and page variations.